try and just eat more nuts and you should be really okay, I guess. <laughs> so stuff your face, eat all day, chicken thighs are a winner. What do you mean bacon sani? <laughs> Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Reese here from More Than Lifting with the More Than Lifting podcast. Conversations about calisthenics, bodyweight training, gymnastics, all that good stuff. I'm Reese, a personal trainer from the UK and founder of morethanlifting.com. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about eating loads, stuff in your face, and being a secret fat man. <laughs> we're going to be talking about bulking, all right? Uh, as you know, if you've been keeping up with the podcast, I've been losing weight. Well, I haven't been losing weight, I've just lost weight since my injury and I went on holiday and I just haven't been training and the bad news to that is I'm pretty low um, fat anyway I got naturally I'm about 8% body fat so I think like, that's only muscle basically that I've been losing so I've just been shedding and <laughs> it's awful it's awful it's the worst thing and if you're anything like me it can take absolutely ages to actually put weight on and I, it just takes ages to gain weight. Can't just don't just try to eat more. Yeah, okay. You can try and eat more, and it doesn't work. You got to be eating the right food. You got to be doing the right training as well, or not training in some cases. But ultimately, we don't want to just be putting on fat, and we don't want to be getting out of shape by bulking. All right, in like the bodybuilding kind of community, or maybe it's just my interpretation of it because I'm not exactly heavily in it, but bulking tends to be like the bulking and cutting split, yeah, so you're packing on pounds, that meat, 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 and uh, then just before you're, well, I say just before, like however long, like a month or or two months, or maybe even three months before you got your competition, then you're like, shred, 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 (laughs) all right, and that's really unhealthy. Yeah, like swinging back and forth, eating, changing your diet in such like a big way. And like, because the idea is the idea that people form from that and that general population kind of end up doing is eating shit and then like trying to lose all their weight quickly. But why would you do that if you're not bodybuilding? Doesn't make any sense, does it? So the only reason for them to be doing that is for competitions. Now, no one else is competing in, bod- in bodybuilding. Or if you are, then you, you, you do that because, you know, that's part of the, uh, the culture, I guess. <laughs> that's part of how, that's just how it is. And it's the same with, like, um, the cutting and the shredding part. It can be a part of, like, fighting, uh, like MMA, boxing, and, like, weight class sports as well. Um, but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about putting on weight but being smart about it. You don't just want to eat more. Yeah, just eating loads and loads of food isn't going to be the best thing for you. All right, you just end up eating loads of processed shit. It's just like, it just clogs up your body and fucks you up, basically. So what's the point in doing that? Instead, just be a little bit smarter. And instead of just stuffing your face with as much as you can, just to try and hit the calorie count, do calorie-dense foods. Okay, and this is like, this is my secret. Shh, calorie-dense foods. Okay, so what you're doing is you're eating a similar amount or for what you normally eat, yeah, the the weight that you'd normally eat for food, I don't know, I don't weigh all my food or anything like that, I'm not like really anal about this stuff because I don't need to be, but just as a general, uh, first off, calorie counting isn't always the best thing to do, all right? I'm going to be talking about my calories here, but I'm not like some fiendish, like calorie tracking, like spreadsheet freak, <laughs> I'm just not, uh, so what I tend to do is just go, that's, a, that's I look at the pack, of whatever it is and I go oh that's about this much do a rough calculation because maths isn't too difficult you're doing it's mostly tens and hundreds in it and yeah so you're like okay so round that up round that down or call that this or as close as and then you go based on what you're eating so for example you do a sandwich you know, you eat a sandwich and it's like it says it's like 358 calories so you just call it 350 yeah so then you have a running approximate tally in your head at any one point because it's never going to be 100% accurate anyway. And so why freak out about it? <laughs> There's no point, is there? So just chill. Uh, so I'm glad that in. But anyway, calorie-dense foods. So calorie-dense foods are foods that have loads of nutrients in per gram. So loads of calories per gram. And this is stuff like nuts, like, uh, you know, cheese. <laughs> nuts and cheese. <laughs> 
Well, you've got light, foods that are light on calories, uh, like salads. Salads are very light on calories. There's not, a, there's not a lot to them, but you do get a lot of nutrients per calorie and stuff like that. So there are different ways you can approach this. But pe what people tend to do is just up the carbs. Okay, and the problem with upping the carbs is that if you're not burning those carbs, then you're just going to put on loads of fat. And fat is going to add weight to your body, but it's not very constructive, is it? I mean, you could argue that in calisthenics it could be because if you add in like five kilos, then it's like adding five kilos of weight. But you're quickly going to burn that off train when you switch back to training though. So <laughs> what have you actually achieved there? You might as well whack some ankle weights on or something and just be make yourself heavier rather than do it the long way round, you know? <laughs> so yeah, calorie dense foods, things like nuts. Nuts are the best ones, really. That's the truth. Nuts are great because, for example, 200 gram bag of cashews is like a thousand calories. 200 grams of cashews. And also nuts tend to have a better ratio of fat to, um, to carbs. And I personally prefer to be eating the fat. All right, I'm not anal about being ketogenic or anything like that, but so yeah, but it's good to have fats. You need fats anyway for your brain. Your brain's just like a big ball of fat. Calorie dense foods, so they've got a good fat to uh, carb ratio because you don't just want to be packing on carbs, uh, but you don't just want to be eating loads of fat either unless you're like doing your keto thing. Uh, so, so that's one of the first, that's like the first thing. Anyway, calorie dense foods are really good. Nuts are amazing for this, but you can go for other stuff as well. What I tend to do is if I'm out and get, doing some shopping or whatever, I just look for stuff with those calories in it. And like good, I look at the protein, I look, you just look over the macros, you know, your protein, your carbs, your fat, your, uh, your fiber, and look it down, quick assessment, what am I looking at? What are my numbers like? Do they have pretty good ratios? Are they quite flat? I don't want stuff with like just shitloads of sugar in it. And uh, yeah, there's just nat naturally there's things to avoid like that. <laughs> but, you know, if you're eating generally pretty good food, that real food, and you're cooking yourself up some meals and you're putting in like actual real ingredients and not like barbecue sauce, <laughs> so, then you're usually going to do all right. Yeah. So try and just eat more nuts and you should be really okay, I guess. <laughs> all right, so I'm only messing with that. The, another tip then is to spread your meals. So another thing a lot of people do is just to spread their meals because you can only digest a certain amount of stuff every how, uh, like in a certain amount of time. Like, so having all your calories in one big meal is bad because then a lot of it's wasted. What you're better off doing uh, is taking another leaf out of the bodybuilder's handbook and have like five meals. Spread your meals out all day, snack, like snacking all day on a bag of cashews is great. You can still eat your meal and every time you out, turn around to have a little munch on something else, then you'll be laughing. All right, eating loads in small amounts will help increase your metabolism as well, so you'll get through it faster and that's always good. So you don't want to get fat. Okay, so you got to train, but <laughs> so stuff your face, eat all day, spread out your meals. So you have like five meals or something and like don't eat loads of chocolate and sugar, high sugar. Look at your macros, look at your calories and pick calorie dense foods. Yeah, peanut butter, cashew butter, nuts particularly are just amazing for it. Um, but yeah, that's the kind of thing we're looking at. That's what you want to be doing. That's what I'm doing anyway. That's my strategy for it. So I don't want to get fat. I don't want to put on a lot of fat. I will do a little bit, obviously, but I'm not going to go crazy. What? So I need to be training hard as well. Naturally, I burn about 3,000, 3,500 calories, like just being alive and moving about and having my training session. So I know to put on weight, I need to be eating more than that because if I eat less than that, I will be losing weight. Yeah, let's just balance that, that equation there. So right now, let's have a look. So it's, it's like half 10 now. In the morning, I've already burnt a thousand calories today. So I need to I need to have eaten a thousand calories. I need to I need to stock up on all that stuff that I've lost. Otherwise, I'm, I'm uh, that I've spent. Sorry, not lost. Otherwise, I'm going to be losing weight. All right, we don't want to do that. So you got to train hard as well. You want muscle, not fat. So we need to digest a lot of protein straight up. 
yeah, because that's the foundation, the building block. I'm like, we also want like plenty of omegas and fatty acids. We want plenty of minerals. You know, we don't want to be, uh, we want to be just stocked up. <laughs> so no, you shouldn't really need to be taking like crazy multivitamins or shitloads of pills while you're, you're trying to bulk if you're eating good food, because you should get plenty of vitamins and minerals anyway. All right, so I'm not going to recommend you do stuff like that. And what, but what I, can, I would suggest is doing like meal, not meal replacement stuff, but like shakes and stuff like that are great because you don't have to sit down and have a meal and you don't have to have something fit, like you don't have to be eating constantly because just the act of chewing gets you full sometimes. <laughs> and if you're eating all day, it's just like tedious, like chewing all the time, bloody hell. So you just want to pack in a bunch of calories quick like a smoothie or like a shake or something like that great because it's all you don't you just knock it down you fast and then you, it's in your stomach it's getting to work your digestive system's taken over just straight away and uh, you you'll process that a lot faster so what i tend to do i'm just going to break it down for you here breakfast I'll have something, I, I like have a shake or a, so a smoothie or I'll have like some cereal sometimes. Uh, depends really, I'd like to mix it up because I don't like to just have the same thing all the time. That monotony is, is horrible, isn't it? So then mid-morning I tend to have something as well like bacon sarnie or something like that. I used to be, when I started doing this podcast, I was pretty strict vegetarian. Um, uh, but I'm not at the minute and I haven't been for a while. Um, so just get that out there just so you're not like what do you mean bacon sarni <laughs> can't go wrong with a bacon sarni um yeah so but i won't just have like a bacon sarni i'll have like some bacon in there i'll have some eggs some cheese like lots of stuff lots of calories all in you know what i mean get it in you quick so <laughs> lunch tends to be like chicken thighs and like some fruit and yeah that's that tends to be the situation, really. Um, usually I, I might have like another smoothie then or I might have like uh, something, I don't know. It depends, it depends, that's what I mean, it varies. But I tend to have chicken thighs for lunch. Chicken thighs are just the best bit of a chicken, aren't they? <laughs> have the dark meat, you've got a bit of skin there. Like, it's all the best bits. And you go to any kind of shop, you can get off like a hot deli or something, you know what I mean, the hot counter, and they tend to be pretty good and pretty cheap. It's cheaper than buying like a sandwich, and it's all, it's like, it's just chicken. You don't, you're not worried about having like mayo in it or like sauce and all that salsa or whatever in a sandwich and eating bread. Like, fuck that all off. Chicken thighs, laughing, <laughs> protein, a bit of fat. It's juicy and uh, yeah, usually got some pretty good seasoning on it too. So <laughs> what are we talking about? Chicken thighs are a winner. So anyway, then we got dinner. So dinner comes around. Then I usually snack like in the afternoon a little bit. Then that'll be when I finish my cashews. Then dinner tends to be quite like late towards the evening, like later in the evening, maybe like eight o'clock or nine o'clock sometimes and stuff like that. So sometimes even later it really depends on what the day is because if I'm doing like some classes in the evening then it's just all shot <laughs> anyway so dinner then tends to be oversized like just massive so it might be like some pork chops or something and some like uh, potatoes and some veg or it might be like enchiladas totally different I know but you know what the good thing about enchiladas is it's just chicken thighs and tomato sauce and cheese and a little bit of bread for your little like tortillas you know so it's just like lunch but for dinner it's genius <laughs> i do eat quite a lot of chicken i guess like at the minute now that i think about it, i hadn't really thought about it until now so thanks for uh making me assess that <laughs> and then so anyway that's it dinner tends to be like quite a heavy meal quite a big meal because um you know, we, well, we just tend to cook for like eight, even though there's just the two of us. So it's just a bit of shit, really stupid, really. But we end up eating quite a lot. And then like sometimes they, if I'm doing some training late or whatever, I might have a, a shake in the evening or uh, some protein or whatever or whatever. I don't know. It depends. It depends again. Sometimes I'm naughty and have some peanut M&Ms or Reese's Cups. <laughs> anyway, so that's it. That's like the breakdown, really. And that that can be like 4,000 calories, you know, and that's, that's good. That's kind of what I want to be hitting really. 
Like, because if I go over my 3,000 and I'm only eating 3,000, like, there's just a wasted day at the minute. And uh, I'm training hard, you know, I'm not messing around with any of that. So it's not like I'm just sitting back, stuff in my face. It's strategic. I have a shake in the morning, I'll have like a late breakfast, then I'll have a, or like a mid-morning kind of breakfast, a nice kind of easy medium-sized lunch, like nothing too heavy, like three chicken thighs or four chicken thighs and some mango spicy bits or whatever, and then uh, yeah, some cashews to finish it off, uh, and then a nice big dinner. Yeah, so when I when I hit probably like 35, 40, I might be massive, but, <laughs> but hopefully not till then. Um, yeah, so eating well, good food, real food, spread out through the day, no processed shit, no ready meals, no microwave stuff, like it's all real food. And yeah, just plenty of it. It's got to be calorie dense, so hitting your calorie dense food, hitting your macros, you're having plenty of protein. You know, and you've got to be making sure that you're working hard and training hard so that you're not just, you don't put on loads of fat, basically. You don't end up being a fat cunt, all right? We don't want anyone, any of you being a fat cunt. We want you to all learn some crazy shit and be ripped and fucking put everyone else to shame. You know what I mean? One of the best things I think about calisthenics is uh, because you're not, you don't tend to be like big bulky muscle, you know, you tend to like look good in a shirt and then you take it off and it's like just ripped you know what i mean that's like that's one of the good that's the good aesthetics of like body weight training you know it does it's like uh yeah anyway what, what am i talking about so <laughs> i'm going off on one today so guys that is it for this episode a little insight to how i'm trying to not bulk okay i said bulking but it's just putting on weight strategically like how i'm spreading my meals and what i'm doing and where my calories come in and a little insight into how i eat really so that's it guys that's it for this episode if you like what you heard as always give us a like subscribe rate and review honest five stars of course wink wink uh share us with your mates training partners uh pets whatever you fancy <laughs> and if you've got any questions or comments just reach out to me on instagram is the best place give me a dm uh the beta membership still open uh, if you want to get in on that uh, if you want to learn some OPL sits and the uh, beginners program is still available and pretty soon in a couple of days a couple of weeks or maybe a week actually because i'm a little bit behind <laughs> is the handstand coming into beta as well so uh, there's that to look forward to as well uh yeah more than a slash beta otherwise i will catch you in the next episode guys keep in touch with yourselves and i'll see you then